hello guys and welcome once again to savannah essence so today we are making our glove water the one that i've promised you in the past two videos on the hair conditioners so this is a simple one that we are going to make and we're going to be using three ayurvedic herbs these are herbs that are readily available especially for those of us in africa and these are herbs that have been extensively used in promoting hair growth and i wanted to infuse these for that particular uh, water so we are starting off with a negro pepper or what people popularly call the black pepper so black pepper is excellent for treating skin issues rashes and other things because of its inflammation anti-inflammatory properties and so i'm going to be using this for such purposes and that's how it looks and this is um gloves uh we all know gloves um gloves is also good at promoting hair growth it adds shine to your hair it helps to treat you know dandruff and other hair related issues and so this is glove as well and then finally we'll be using rosemary i'll be speaking a lot more on these herbs as this videos go on but rosemary also you know is good it has um it helps to prevent hair follicles from being starved of blood supply or dying off and leading to hair loss so if you do not want to lose your hair especially if you have hair those of you have a lot of breakage rosemary is an excellent hair for you to incorporate so we have three herbs one that helps to prevent hair loss one that helps to promote hair growth and then one that helps to treat any other hair issue that you have and so these three combinations are are, are really going to help you to you know uh, keep your hair in check so to, to 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 make this water all you need is to add these three herbs together and you know you add in your boiling water or your warm water and then you cover it for as long as you want i typically minim, minimum i keep it for 24 hours and then i strain it and then i can use it so this is purposely for formulation so those of you have watched the leave-in conditioner video and then the rinse of conditioner video you realize that this is the water that we used in that particular recipe in those particular recipes and so i particularly do this for skincare and hair care formulations now um you can equally use this as a rinse off that's another thing so for me when i'm done shampooing and conditioning my hair i pour this herbal water in as a as a, as a herbal rinse and then i cover it for 30 minutes sometimes i just leave it on and then i style add my leave-in conditioner and style or sometimes i leave it for 30 minutes with a cup and then i come back and i rinse it off and then i continue so that's a rinse off you can also use it as a spritz you can use it to spritz you know into your hair especially if you want to re-moisturize when your hair is dried um, and then if maybe in the middle of the week after a wash off after yeah you can use it to you know re uh, add moisture and hydration to your hair so that also can be done so you can use a variety of containers you can use your jason jars your glass your mason jars pardon me you can use your glass bottles or whatever jars you have i happen to have these formulation cups i have over 10 of them so i like to use them for these purposes so make sure that you get something that you can cover it just to ensure that you keep your heat in for as long as you can and then you can leave it people like to use it for an hour or two per my experience you don't really get a lot of benefits for you leave it for a short period of time i would advise you macerate this for a longer period of time like five six hours i like to leave mine for 24 hours and then i'll strain it that way i get the potency um in that I, I need to really get this going to really impact the benefits that i need so after 24 hours this is how our glove and rosemary water is looking like now it's beautiful it smells great and you can see the color has changed it's really brown to dark this is an old one that i have 
that I used in the formulation for those of you who watch those videos you'll see that this is what we use for those formulations and I still you know I still have those herbs incorporated I don't strain it I don't strain mine but for this video I'll strain it just for you to see but I, once I'm done I pour it into my container and I cover it until I'm done using it I don't strain the herbs I like it to be infused I like to get all the benefits from my herbs before I know I can continue so another thing about the Negro pepper is that back here in Africa we use Negro pepper especially for preservatives to also preserve our food so for um, for our local drinks for our fishes and other things that need local preservatives we we'll use a lot of the negro pepper to do that and so um i said let me add this to this and just leave this mixture for some time just to see without preservative how it will work and for that container i left it on out there for a week and everything still looks nice and i do this because i test ph <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> I know pH is not a very good indicator, but I like to do that. I like to play around. I like to experiment. And so I, I, I'll keep on using the Negro pepper, especially in this water, because I don't add preservative. And most of you out there don't add preservative. So I'll advise you refrigerate it or you get something that can keep it for a period of time. So once we are done, we strain this into our container. So you can strain it into your spray bottles. You can spray it into any container. I spray in this because this is what I use for formulations. And then I also pour some into a cup because that's what I'll use for my wash, my herbal rings in the shower. But basically this is a, it's a simple one. Choose your, your herbs properly um, and then, you know, get your warm water, infuse it for as long as you want and then strain it and then use it. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we make our rosemary, our glove and rosemary water for hair growth. Um, if you are new to this channel, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really encourage you to do so. It helps us to grow and it helps us to keep on sharing these videos with you. This is a simple recipe for the herbs that are left. You can continue to infuse it you know in whichever way you want thank you very much and see you in our next video bye bye